we're going to do the fog check first so we're looking for any foreign objects which have blown onto the track so we do the full 16 kilometer about 20 30 k's an hour and we check for any large stones plastic bags anything what could be dragged into the air intake as well as that we look for anything else animals what can cause any obstruction when a car is going to run down the track as well today we're going to be putting a camera on the track and digging it in to get some cool shots hopefully Yeah, so the camera's set, we've dug it in, we stand again the right handle now, we've just took the cover off the lens, put a bit of water on, we've put an arrow to see if we can find where we afterwards, when the car's gone past hopefully, and uh, hope to get some good footage. Another successful day on the hack scheme pan. Um, we've just done a run. We were intending to do two runs, um, but anyway, the first run was a complete success. Um, aiming for 500 miles per hour um, without the shoot. So why are we doing that? Well, we're very keen to understand the drag characteristics of this car. And the best way to do that is to launch Andy up to 500 miles per hour, cut the engine to idle, and let the car coast down to 200 miles per hour before he applies the brakes. Um, and that gives us a huge amount of data without the distraction of the chute. So we prepped early this morning, we were out on the track and successful start. Um, the wind direction was good, um, slightly strong wind, but it was down the track predominantly. Um, and Andy did a full reheat run up to 491 miles an hour. So just a bit short of the 500. I've had a word with Andy about that. Um, and, and then safely down, to the 12 kilometer point on inspection we've got the same problem we had previously with damage to the rear deltas um, and again it's really a very harsh environment down there and we've learned we've actually got some good video footage of the sort of debris that's been thrown up and the airflow that comes along the car from the front wheels down the underside of the car and then diverts across um, the deltas and there's a very sensitive area there where the skin has been peeled back and damaged. And so the car's now back in the workshop and got some work to do. And you'll hear in the background a lot of work's going on in just removing the damaged material and uh, applying a new repair. Um, so that's all the noise in the background and we're hopeful the car will be back together and we'll be ready for another run. This time 500 miles per hour with a chute and we need to get that valuable data now with the chute um, and the deceleration that the chute creates. Okay.